with Raffles we bring our second minigame in overlays. While the spin wheel is meant to draw objects or actions, Raffle is meant to draw people. We will show you how it works in this short tutorial. If you want your viewers to participate visually in the Raffle, you first need the Raffle layer. To do this, go to Overlays, add New Overlay, give your overlay a name and click Add New Overlay again. Now select Add Layer in the left column and either use the search or go to Games. Here you select the Raffle layer. That's it for the most part. On the right side you can apply small refinements. Under Manage Raffle you select your colors and the appearance. The one title is already prepared and contains the right variable. And you can choose if you want a small window to open, which presents the winner, and if you want to have a sound effect when drawing. And of course, as in all layers, you can customize your font and size. Click on Save and close the overlay. If you want to see the changes of the layer live, now would be the moment to link the overlay in your OBS browser source or open a preview window. Let's go back to Lumia Stream. On the left sidebar you have a new item. Click on Raffle. Here you can see all your raffles in the future and who won them. Now click on Create new raffle in the upper right corner. Enter a title in the upper left corner and a subtitle if you like. For the video we call it Raffle Tutorial and this is a tutorial. Now we have two different raffle types for you. The first one, User List, is a very simple game system. Whoever enters exclamation mark raffle, which by the way is a command we prepared under chatbot commands, will be added to the raffle. On the right side you can set if subs should have a higher chance to win and how often a user may enter. You can also enter here if a certain name is not allowed to participate. And those were already the settings for the first game principle. If you now click on Start Raffle in the lower right corner, the data will be transferred to your layer and the games can begin. The update of the layer happens in real time. You can also see that the right side has changed. Here you can see a little helper that shows you where you can set the raffle alerts. And below that, which variables have been created to match the running raffle. This will fill dynamically with each participant and will also show the winners later. At the top you can also see how long the raffle has been running, how many participants have already entered and how many winners there are already if you draw more than one. At the bottom, Start Raffle has changed to Stop Raffle. Click here if you are ready to pick a winner. Reset Raffle clears the board and end raffle ends the game completely. Be careful if you haven't picked a winner yet because the raffle won't be available after that. Now when a player joins the raffle, it appears in the middle of the screen. He can still correct, such as simply delete the name from the list. Also our variables have been updated. If you now want to determine the winner, click on stop raffle. Now no one can join the raffle anymore. As you can see, a new button has appeared, which we click to make the wheel in the layer start spinning and randomly select the winner. Surprise, Sam Wilson TV has won! This is shown above the winner window in the layer and also on the raffle page. Also, the winner variable has updated. Now click End Raffle and you will be taken back to the raffle overview. If you now hover over the completed raffle, a small bubble will appear showing the winners of the past raffle. Let's move on to the second game principle. Click on Create New Raffle and select Guessing Game. This game is not just about chance. Here you can specify a series of numbers. The default is 0 to 100. At the top right, you can set how often someone may participate and as before, who may not participate. The command remains the same. 
but the participants have to guess a number. The command is, for example, exclamation mark raffle space 69. If you now stop the raffle, Lumia Stream will select a random number from the number line. Now you can trigger the raffle wheel again with get winner. However, the wheel will either land on the name that guessed the number exactly or on a name that is the closest. Here, you can draw winners several times, in which case the next number always wins. As already mentioned at the beginning, we have already prepared the raffle command for you. You can simply rename it if you want to use a different word for it. In addition, we have also developed three Lumia actions. Raffle Entry, with which you can manually add users to the raffle. Raffle Stop, to stop the raffle. And Raffle Winner, to draw the winner. Note that Raffle Stop and Raffle Winner are only available under chatbot commands, while Raffle Entry is available for all commands. For example, you can make participation dependent on channel points or bits. For example, if you want the participant to exchange 100 channel points to participate in the raffle, then go to Commands, Switch Points, Add Command, and enter a Lumia Action Raffle Entry. Complete the Creation tool with the settings you want, and then open the command again. Because we still have to specify under Point Options that the Redeemer has to leave a message. Now the participant can redeem the points and submit his tip. And so that you don't have to keep telling your viewers that they can only take part once, or that no raffle is active at the moment, we have created a few suitable chat messages for you. You can change these individually under Settings, under the Interactions tab. And last but not least, we have developed three new alerts for the raffles. You can create an alert for the raffle start, for raffle stop, and for the moment when the winner is decided. You can learn more about alerts in the video linked above. How do you like our interactions in the overlays? Let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news and have a luminous day.